In this lesson, we'll be classifying bonds as pure covalent, polar covalent, or ionic. Let's start with a bit of theory. Polar covalent bonds are those in which the electrons are shared equally between the atoms involved. And this usually happens for a pair of identical atoms. I know I've written down only here, but we'll look at a case shortly where that's not the case. In a polar covalent bond, the electrons shared by the atoms spend a greater amount of time, on average, closer to the nucleus of one atom over the other. And finally, an ionic bond is a type of chemical bond that involves a metal and a non-metal ion, such as a polyatomic ion, through electrostatic attractions. It is a bond formed by the attraction between two oppositely charged ions. So in question number one, they ask, classify the bonds formed between each pair of atoms as covalent, polar covalent, or ionic. I'll start with some guessing. So with A, we have strontium and fluorine, a metal with a non-metal, so this is ionic based on the definition above. In B, we have nitrogen and chlorine. Nitrogen and chlorine are non-metals, and they're different atoms. So my guess is polar covalent. And just to keep in mind that it is in this example where the definition provided up here falls apart. And in our last, we have nitrogen and oxygen, both non-metals, both not the same atoms, so my guess is polar covalent. Now to be sure, if what I've chosen is correct, I'm going to use the electronegativity chart below. And I'll calculate the difference of electronegativity denoted by delta En for each case. Starting with strontium and fluorine, I need to look at their electronegativities. Strontium is found right here, it's one, and fluorine is four. So four minus one is three. Therefore, the delta En is four minus one, being three, looking at this chart, that's larger than two, so this is indeed ionic, our guess was correct. Next we have nitrogen and chlorine. Let's look at nitrogen and chlorine. Nitrogen is three and chlorine is also three. Three minus three is zero. So delta En is equal to zero and when it's zero to four, it's actually covalent. So our guess was incorrect, it's actually covalent. And this is why the definition isn't always true, where this can only happen for pairs of identical atoms. Finally, nitrogen and oxygen. Both nonmetals, nitrogen and oxygen, that's a difference of 0 0.5. We end up with, according to the chart, a polar covalent bond. So this was correct. Let's do the same thing, but for three more examples. Iodine and iodine, obviously two atoms, but will have the same electronegativities, will end up with delta En of zero. Right away we know that this is covalent. Cesium and bromine. Cesium is a metal, it's right here, and bromine is right here. 2.8 minus 0 0.7 is 2.1. That's greater than two, therefore this is ionic. Phosphate and oxygen. Phosphate is 2.1, oxygen is 3.5, subtracting 3.5 from 2.1 is 1.4. The chart tells us that this will be polar covalent. And there you have it. Six examples on how to classify bonds as pure covalent, polar covalent, or ionic.